What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So this is part two in a series. In this part, we're gonna talk about how to merge our model's terrain with terrain from Lumion, as well as how to work with our materials in order to make the grass work and everything else. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you remember in part one of this series, we went through and we added materials into our Lumion rendering. Well, in part two, we're going to go through and we're going to add and adjust um, our terrain and the way that that looks. As you can see when this got brought in, because this is kind of a two-level building, um, the terrain doesn't actually go up to the ground on the back side. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the terrain editing tools in order to do that. And so you can see how I just went in here and uh, I'm, I'm I'm basically using the tools to raise and lower the terrain and what you'll notice is that this is uh, this is kind of going up through the ground and so I'm having to kind of move it up and down and jump back and forth between the different tools because what I want this to do is I want this to kind of line up with my terrain but I don't necessarily want the grass showing through that's on here and so one of the things that I found fairly helpful is really kind of cranking that uh, brush speed down so don't have the brush speed on super fast because all this is going to do is it's going to shoot through your ground and you're not actually going to be able to uh, you're not actually going to be able to control it. It's just going to be very difficult to line up. And one thing I would recommend having gone through this once now is I would actually recommend trying to have your terrain set up a little less flat in your actual model. So what I was finding is I was finding it's a little bit difficult to get everything to line up with an actual flat piece of terrain here. So you can see how this goes up through your ground and you have to go back and make a bunch of fine adjustments. So I was jumping back and forth between the flatten tool and the raise and lower tool. Um, but you can see how I'm just going through and very slowly um, raising this ground so that it lines up over here. And I realize that this road in real life would probably continue off into the distance. But for what we're doing here, um, I'm just going to block it off because I'm planning on having most of this, uh, most of my views actually facing this building. But you can see how I'm just going through and I'm just making things line up with this edge without actually... Uh, going through the ground and it's okay if you get a little bit of overlap here and so once we do that the next thing I'm going to do once I've done that is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to go through here and I'm going to turn the grass on because one of the things you're going to run into is when you have grass here and you have a building that's just slightly above the plane, the grass is actually going to show through the ground here. And so what I'm doing in this case is I'm going to go through and I'm going to adjust the material so that this is no longer the grass material. If you remember with the landscape um, materials inside Lumion, you can only have one of these that actually shows up as the grass. So what I'm doing is I'm going back and I'm painting over this with a rock material. So I'm actually painting the material underneath my grass plane right here. You can see I'm just going through and I'm applying that that a uh, rock material. And I'm actually going to go back and change that a little bit later um, into something that's not quite so jarring on that transition. But for right now, all I'm trying to do is make it so that I don't have grass showing through in my model. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the same thing over here because you can see how the grass from that grass material was showing through on this backside as well, which isn't very realistic because um, obviously you wouldn't have grass um, growing through a plane inside your rendering. So I'm just going back and I'm just painting that around this edge. And really it's just a question of making sure everything's kind of cleaned up and uh, really kind of paying attention to detail. You can see how I've still got some ground showing through here so I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, one of the things you can do to disguise that edge is adding some like trees or um, something like that in here. The other thing I'm doing, and this may not even be in my final uh, final rendering, but I'm just going out and I'm adding some jitter to the ground out here. Well, when you add jitter to the ground, what it does is it makes this look a little bit more realistic because there's no such thing as a giant flat plane like this um, in real life. You know, there's always a little bit of ups and downs and things like that off in the distance. So I just kind of crank my brush size up. I'm just adding a little bit of jitter out here. And that way, if you kind of see off into the distance in any part of this rendering, you um, you'll see ground that isn't completely flat and isn't a complete plane like that. And so, I mean, that, that's really all you have to do in this step is just make sure that your model kind of jives with, um, 
you want to make sure that your model that you import is going to jive with the actual landscape or ground terrain settings that are inside your model. So just go through and give it one more look and uh, just kind of clean up any little things that aren't quite the way you want them to be. And then the last thing is I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to change the material Whoops! inside the landscape settings. I'm going to change this rock material to more of a grass material because I don't really want rock showing through around the perimeter of this. I want something that kind of matches up with the actual grass material that I've got making up this whole plane. So you can see how I made that change on that second material in order to make that look a little bit more or make it match the grass around it a little bit more. All right, so that's where I'm in part two of this series. In the next video, we're going to start adding things to our scene like trees and rocks and things to make this a little bit more realistic. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this format? Are you finding these videos helpful? I just love having that conversation conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.